Hello, welcome to Prime Sports with me, Razak Musbao. Now tonight, Nigeria and Barcelona talisman, Aysat Oshola, has been named the 2022 African Women's Player of the Year at the CAF Award Ceremony in Rabat earlier today. Now, Oshola also continued her blistering outings for Barcelona women in the Spanish League while also guiding them to the UEFA Champions League success last season. Well, her countryman, uh, Victor Osimen, the Napoli forward, was also named the Men's African Player of the Year for his stunning performance for the Italian side last season. We saw them clinch league title. Osimen was up for the award against Mohamed Salah and Ashraf Hakimi, who was World Cup semi-finalist. Now, away from that, Ghana Premier League side Dreams FC sealed an important away win in the CAF Confederations Cup journey with a victory over APC Lobito. Uh, the MTN FA Cup champions claimed a 3-2 triumph against the Angolan side on Sunday, December. Meanwhile, Midiama were held to a 1-1 draw by Tanzanian giant African Ababara Sports Stadium on Friday. Here is how the two clubs are currently faring in the groups of their respective tournament. In the CAF Champions League, Midiama they are competing in it, and you can see they're in the same group with Al Hali. And after three games, they are lying third with four points, and they are tied on point uh, with uh, Beluzidad there. And uh, they have about two more games to play. And the top two teams from this group will qualify to the next stage of the tournament. Now, in the CAF Confederations Cup, where Dreams FC find themselves in, also in their group standings, they've got six points from the first three opening games. And you can see how tight the group is. Club Africana top with six points and Rivers United of Nigeria also top with uh, second place with six points and Dreams FC in third place with six points and uh, just about two more games to go uh, for the group pairings to be done. And also in this group, the top two teams will advance to the next stage of the tournament. Now, Manchester United midfielder Scott McTominay has backed under fire head coach Eric Ten Hag, revealing that the club's playing buddy is firmly behind the coach. Now, Manchester United recorded their 11th defeat in 23 games in all competitions this season following Saturday's 3 0 Premier League loss to Bournemouth. Now, on Tuesday, they will face Bayern Munich in a must win game at Old Trafford to have any chance of staying in the Champions League. The midfielder, along with the coach, have been speaking ahead of the game. Well, now in basketball, Anthony Davis scored 41 points to help the Los Angeles Lakers to victory against the Indiana Pacers in the NBA's first in-season tournament final. Davis also registered 20 rebounds, 5 assists and 4 blocks, while teammate LeBron James added 24 points and 11 rebounds and a 123-1 owner. LeBron James was named the most valuable player of the inaugural edition. That's all we have for you on Prime Sports tonight with me, Zach Musbao. Thank you for being part of it.